you know, initially I maybe was a bit overwhelmed when it first came out and I was a sophomore at UCLA and I didn't really know what to make of it. Um, and I didn't think it was going to be so popular with kids or as popular as it was. Um, mm-hmm. but looking back now, I think I am really proud that I was involved in that movie. I mean, it, if, Disney was definitely ahead of its time. I mean, it was a movie mm-hmm. that came out in 2001 about with two female leads playing sports. I mean, that is so evident. It, it, it passes the, the, what's it called? The Bechdel test, like in flying colors, which yeah. for that time was, you know, not many movies did, especially not Disney movies. Mm-hmm. So I'm, you know, I don't know about Pop. I think Poppy probably got this a lot too, but when it first came out, I mean, even today, occasionally, if somebody, you know, sees me, um, you know, people will say that they played basketball because of that movie. And that's huge. I mean, that's, that's fantastic. I, um, there should be more movies about girls playing sports or doing all, you know, women doing all types of things. And, and I, I didn't realize that it would inspire so many people to play basketball. So I'm really proud of that aspect of it. Do you feel the same way, Poppy? Yeah. And I think, you know, that moment of Disney was really special. Like right after we wrapped on filming, they filmed a tiny little movie called High School Musical. And, <laughs> um, and that sort of blew the doors off of the idea that something based around kids was going to be small. Um, I don't know if you remember this one, Annie. I remember going to the mall with you after we had come back from filming. It had, I don't know what we were doing. It had been a while. And the movie had not dropped yet and walking into the mall, they were getting ready for the release. And this was when the releases were still big enough that our faces were plastered everywhere, like the size wow. of the movie. And we didn't know, like no one had prepared either one of us for that. We went, it's like, I call it my five minutes of fame. It's hilarious, but, um, <laughs> but like, you, you know, all of a sudden we're just walking through the mall and everywhere we look, there we are from the parking garage all the way out. I remember calling my agent and being like, oh my God, nobody really was aware that the Disney machine was like that. Mm-hmm. And that it was building um, what would become, uh, I think, a, a stable a stable moment in, in turning from just Sunday morning or Saturday morning cartoons into content-driven, um, interesting ideas behind um, what teens and kids are looking at. 